Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at another 1-6 scale figure. This is the Joker from Hot Toys. He is from Suicide Squad. Um, the first original movie, not the Suicide Squad. This is the Purple Coat version. And this figure was released in 2017. As you can see here, we're looking at just the box. Get a good 360 view of it. I will bring it down so we can get a little bit better close-ups of it. Out of all the Jokers that I've done, reviewed so far, um, I gotta say this one's one of my favorite, but least favorite at the same time. And I will tell you guys and show you guys why that is. Um, overall, I think this one is just the better looking, but the, the things that come with him are just, uh, they just kind of don't make sense why they did it the way they did. Um, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm talking about. So now that you guys got a good 360 view of the, of the box, what I'm gonna do next, is I'm going to turn this off, I'm going to unplug this, put it right there, take this box, put it right there, and there we go. So right now we're getting a good view at the box here, I'll bring the camera up just so you can see. As you can see up, up top here, um, you know, you just got some laughing up here, you got the Joker right there with like a little lock, you got his canes that he walks with, you got Harley Quinn right there. Um, there's the Joker himself with, you know, like some bat wings behind him. Um, and then I'm pretty sure this is where, you know, this is Arkham Asylum. That's the gate to Arkham Asylum, but it's a Suicide Squad with the crown. And then this is the Joker, um, purple coat. And then you got here, his eyes right here. You got Suicide Squad. Here, hold on, hold on. There we go. You got some, uh, like straight razors. You got a hammer. You got his uh, purple uh, 1911 and some knives and some bullets down there. And then at the bottom bottom, as you can see here, you got some uh, nice smiling faces like the one on his hands. Um, let's see what else can you really, you got some flags right here um, with the, you know, some lips. And then you got these two designs right there. This looks like a jester and I don't really know. So it looks like a earth with like a flying horse right there. I don't know. <laughs> um, the side of it here um, just says, you know, Joker, purple coat, uh, one to scale version, and just has like some eyeballs and the smiling thing. And then back here, um, you know, all the choke hazards, the um, the company and things like that. And then so the top of it, you do see here, let's do it this way. You do see there is, you know, it's just a laughing and then the big J for Joker. And then at the bottom, it's, it's green and the reason it's green let's go ahead and move this camera right here we're gonna put this sideways because my my light box isn't that tall there we go because the whole box itself is green other than the top of it as you can see that the top is not green here's all the creators of the figure I'll get a better shot so you guys can uh, pause if you guys want to. Okay. And this one also does open like this as well from here. And as you can see here, I actually already took the figure out, you know, ready for the review. Um, but we do have a few more things to take out like, uh, you know, his watch here, his bracelets, his cane. So what we're going to do... Um, there we go, let's put that there. So what we're gonna do next actually is get the turntable back and then get the figure and get him on the turntable so we can just get a 360 view of the figure. Alrighty folks, so as you can see here, this is the figure. Um, this is exactly how it comes out of the box. He has nothing on himself. Um, <clears throat> you know, he does come with the purple coat, which, you know, is actually not on the figure when you first get him. Now, there is a lot of things I'm going to talk about this figure. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but when we do close-ups of the figure, you'll see uh, some things that I'm going to really talk about that I really don't like that what happened to this figure. Um, it's, it's just so sad to me that, that this happened and, you know, there'd be no way of telling if, if this was going to happen or not. Um, and what I mean by that is obviously if you buy a figure and you, you know, you put them together how you want him and something happens to him because of a particular, um, item that this figure comes with, you're going to be upset, but they can't do anything about it. Now, if you don't watch reviews of the figure, you're never going to know that. And most of the time, there's only a select few people out there that get early figure access to figures to do reviews of the figure. But they wouldn't even know that either unless they, you know, got the figure, 
you know, use the material for the figure that he came with and then, you know, completely stripped him down and looked to see if there was anything wrong. That would be the greatest review ever, but nobody does that. So, with all that being said, as you can see here, we're just getting a good 360 view of the figure. Everything that this figure comes with is amazing. Um, you know, I, I, this is one of my first, uh, it's one six scale figures I actually ever got and one of my favorite Jokers. Um, say what you want, but I think this was the best modern tank of a Joker, you know, with the, with the, the grill, his chains and stuff. Um, a lot of people think that's not who the Joker is. Well, no, that's not who the Joker, the Joker is, but I think what the producer and or the writer was trying to do was, you know, get the get a modern age take of a Joker with tattoos, a grill, the gold chains, and things like that. So that's just my take on it. So anyway, so what we're gonna do next now is we're gonna take the Joker off the turntable and take a look at everything that this figure comes with. Alrighty, folks. So as you can see here, this figure does come with quite a few things, which is great because some figures, you know, some one six scale figures don't come with much, and this one did come with quite a few things, and I really do appreciate that. So the first and foremost thing we're gonna get going here is like i said like i've been saying before in most of my one six scale figures this one does come with um instructions so we'll put that to the side and it does come with <clears throat> excuse me a backdrop let me actually um here give me one second like this there we go yes it comes with a backdrop it says welcome to Special security, yeah, special security barracks, which um, I really still don't know what that means from. I, I mean, I'm thinking that's where, you know, Harley, Deathstroke, not Deathstroke, Deadshot, um, Captain Boomerang, they're all locked up. Um, and that's, you know, special security uh, barracks. But, um, yeah, I don't know what that means, but I like the Joker here. Um, it, it's weird because it says all in, and then it just says Joker. I mean, that's about it. All in from what? I don't know. Um, I just do like it. It looks nice. I like that they have the star right there and the J right there. on like You know, same from the Joker. So I like this backdrop, but it's not one of my favorite ones. So, now putting that aside... I'm actually going to put it back in the box so I actually have more room in my light box to do more things. Now I can move this up here um, and, you know, get a better view. So I'm going to actually go from here. There we go. So I guess the first thing we'll look at is the base. It comes with the same base that the other figures have been coming with. You can see the tile here, um, the same black generic, um, you know, crotch stand. And then the bottom right here, uh, again, it says Suicide Squad, the Joker um, purple coat version with a little looks like dead shot like you know scope thing i don't know what to really call that but you know it's the same as the other what is it other three i've done so far um no actually i take that back same as the other two because the first joker i did didn't have these kind it actually had a completely different one um and i don't know why they changed that up so anyway so it does come with this nice stand not not one of the best but well, not one of the worst either um i'm not gonna complain about that one he does come with his purple cane here. As you can see the nice little texturing that they have right here with um, the design right there. And then, you know, nice purple uh, metallic right there going on. And, you know, the tip of it here. Nice gold and silver looking right there, almost like a bullet. And this is made out of plastic, so it's kind of wobbly. I wouldn't recommend that because you might break it, but it does look nice. Um, I actually don't use this on the character. I'm not a big fan of this Joker actually using the cane. It makes, kind of makes him look old. Yeah, kind of, maybe they're trying to go for that pimp look. Um, maybe when he was in the club, <clears throat> excuse me, um, with Harley Quinn, with him and the, and the cane, it looked nice. But with this and the purple coat, no. Uh, I don't see him with that, so... Um, he does come with his 1911 here, purple custom 1911 with the Joker right there. I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, and maybe I'll take my words back, because I do believe the other one, the, the magazine came out, because I know this goes back, as you can see there, see? And I do believe the magazine comes out. Yeah, there we go. Magazine comes out just like the... Um, 
the one that did it on the, the tuxedo version. So nice little design here. The same exact one, I believe. It's all purple with the gold design, the white grips and the Joker, um, you know, emblem right there. So very nice, very nicely detailed. It's made out of all plastic, so no metal on that either. Um, and then the next thing we're going to go over, I guess he has, you know, I'll just say these real quick. He has extra... Um, pegs for his hands in case they break because these do tend to break kind of easily i'm not saying you're gonna get these and they're gonna break right away but they do tend to break um that's why obviously they you know give you new ones even when you first get a new character you might pull it out and where they actually meet up you see how they inter intersect in the middle um they might break right there um i've had it happen to me before and it kind of sucks but that's why they send you new ones anyway so he does come with three gold chains necklaces um they're not obviously real gold, but as you can see here, they're actually real metal, they're steel, and he comes with three of them. So this is the thickest one, and then comes with the long kind of thin one, which I think they're actually all the same size, minus, I think this one, yeah, see, look, they're almost all the same size, there we go, I got it right there. Minus this one, this one's the biggest one, there you see, they're all made out of metal. Um, I do believe they're kind of coated with that gold paint. I don't really think they're gold. Um, but he does come with three of them. And then he comes with a gold bracelet here. This is actually made out of metal as well. This is obviously not gold, like I said again, but he does come with the gold bracelet. And, to, you know, in order to put these on, you actually take off the, the peg of the hand. Oh, Jesus. The peg of the hand, put it on, and then put this on, and it kind of, you know, kind of sit there like this. There you go, like that. So, he does come with one of those. He comes with, I think this is another uh, bracelet. And this one looks kind of like it's all skulls on it. But this is plastic. So you can kind of see, it's obviously holding it, you know, together in that circle a bit. It's actually plastic. Um, but I like the design on it, but I don't know. I think they should have went with gold. But I think if they went with gold, it wouldn't show up as well. So I think that's why, or uh, metal, I mean. Um, and that's why I think they went with plastic on that. But it's a very nice design, though. I like that. And then the last thing he came with as far as jewelry would be his watch. Nice little, I'm not even sure if it's a Rolex. Let me kind of, no, it's not. You can't even tell if it's a Rolex or not. But you can see the nice details on it. There you go. Um, you can see all the numbers are actually there. You can see the, the you know, small hand, big, the hour hand, the minute hand, the second hand there. Um, it almost, you can see that's kind of a glass thing right there. See? You can see the reflection of the glass, and it's just very nicely designed. I wish they would have put like some uh, some black black wash on this, and the black wash would have give you know the, made the the creases stand out to give it more detail. So it does come with that. And then the last few things it come with, I'll go over that the last. He does come with what is what is that? Let's see, one, two, we'll say about two pairs. Well, let, let's put it like this. He comes with seven nine hands including the ones he has on but so most of them are actually you know all for his right hand so the first two these are actually both the same except one has a glove and we'll go over the glove one real quick so when we go over this one we don't talk about it too much but this is just a glove he's wearing like a you know, purple glove i don't know if it's like a, a surgical glove or anything like that but yeah it's a glove Nothing too fancy there. You can see all the creases. There's nothing much to it other than um, you can see the, the creases on his hands, the outline of his hand. There's really not much to it. Which, I mean, looks cool, but uh, not my favorite. So I'm going to set that one aside. This is the other one that is exactly the same as this one. You know, they're actually doing the same exact thing, except he's not wearing the glove. And on this one, you can obviously see the... The, the rings there, you can see his fingertips, and you can see his tattoo right there of the, the smiling one, where he does do it where he covers his face with it, and he, you know, he's smiling, but I do like this actually a lot. Really nicely detailed. We'll set that aside. The other ones, you know, I guess this is the same exact one as this one, very nicely detailed, it has that tattoo on his hand, um, of the smiling, smile? <laughs> Of the smile, there we go. Um, and I do believe this is to hold his cane. Yeah, I think it's to hold his cane on this hand. Um, and I do believe actually this one's to hold his cane on this one, and this is just the other one with the glove, as you can see there. Let me know what you guys think of the hand with the glove. It kind of looks a little bit weird to me. Maybe not so much when he's wearing it with the with the purple coat, but the purple coat and this looks too completely different. You see what I'm saying? So it just I don't know. Um, and then the last 
three hands he comes with. They're all his right hand with no glove. And this one he has, you know, the two rings. And you can see he has the, um, I do believe that there's symbols for the cards on there. So I do believe if he didn't have the rings, you'd see the heart um, and the club in there because you have the, the, the diamond and the spade right there as well. So I do like those nice details that they put on this figure. So that's that one. This one is just kind of more of a relaxed hand. Kind of like when he gives him uh, that, that prisoner guard at the casino thing, his hand, and he just kind of grabs it, you know, to kiss. I think that's what Ted's trying to trying to do. I like that part. Um, and then this last one, I do believe this one is either... Actually, maybe this one might be for his cane. I don't know what this one might be for. This one's kind of a weird-looking one. Because I don't think he has anything else to go with, so... Yeah, I don't know this one actually. Maybe holding something. This one kind of has a weird, the weird, like he's holding something up here. So I don't know what this is for. Um, but yeah, he comes with those hands. And the last thing we're going to talk about, because this one is getting kind of long, is a purple coat. He does come with the purple coat. This coat is just amazing. Um, the detail on it is, it's just very, very nicely detailed. Um, there's wire up here for the coat. There's wire down here. Actually, there's no wire right here, but I do believe there's. Okay, maybe I'll take those words back. There's only wire up here. Um, very nicely detailed. Now, the biggest problem with this, it feels le like it's leather. You can see the nice detail on it. The only biggest problem with this is this material, material right here. This, they, I'm not trying to cuss or anything, but they effed it up putting this material on there. And I will show you why when I do the, um, you know, the figure review, doing up close. But overall, this coat is amazing. It, it just really brings out the, the figure. Um, I always have my figure displayed with this just because it just looks so good. It looks so good with them on. So anyway, that's everything that this figure comes with. What we're going to do next is get the figure and take a closer look. Alrighty, folks. So here he is, the Joker, the purple coat version. Okay, let's get him up and go close. As you can see here, he has finally a different head sculpt than the other two. Um, the other two almost had the same head sculpt, but this one has that like evil smirk on them. You can see his grill, his eyes, you can see the eyes shine on there. This is just one of the better head sculpts, I think. Um, here we go, let's do this. Get to do it sideways. One of the better head sculpts, in my opinion, I think. Um, let me know what you guys think, which one you guys think. I'll, I'll do a comparison, so I'll ask that question later on, but um, that is one of my favorite head sculpts on this. It looks a lot, you can tell it's Jared Leto. Um, I like that you can see the damaged uh, tattoo up there. You can see the star right here on the side, and you can see the J right there. Um, and then you obviously he has, he has a molded hair, so going down. You can see that, you know, you can see all his tattoos, which is really nice. You can see the, the Jester tattoo or the, the Joker, whatever you want to call it with the skull. The laughing right there with the cards. Um, Joker right there with the, the big smile right there. I do believe that's Robin that he killed a Robin right there. Look at that. There's Robin with an arrow through it, which is really cool. There's another smile right here. Um, obviously, he has his tattoos right there with, um, you know, the... The cards and then there's a batman symbol right there with a the knife through it there's some more laughing right here with the um sorry there's more laughing right there with that smile and then there's a, a dancing up uh, there we go there's a dancing joker and then his back tattoo is just a big big dragon now um the biggest biggest issue i've had with this figure and i've seen some reviews after it happened to mine here do you guys see that blue, or I'm sorry, that purple kind of um, rub off on the, on the actual skin? That wasn't there when I first got the figure. That has came from the, the purple coat. Um, and I've seen people trying to fix it, trying to wash it, and it just doesn't come off anymore. It's because it's iodine and it's stained. Um, so unfortunately, this figure's technically ruined because that won't come off anymore. But you can still technically... I mean, you. I'm, I'm always gonna have mine with the coat on, but imagine if you're gonna try to sell him. Like nobody wants that, but I believe most figures actually have that purple on him already because a lot of people didn't know that that was gonna happen. So they put the purple coat on. Um, they did the figure reviews when the, you know the the first people that got them, and and they didn't take it off until you know months months later when they wanted to do a different pose for the figure and they noticed that. So, um, unfortunately, by that time it was too late. So, unfortunately. 
if you guys are trying to get this figure <clears throat> or have found this figure and you know deciding if you guys want to pick him up just know that your figure because he's not brand new if you guys can find a brand new one look up videos on how to try to cover that up when you have the purple coat on maybe put some saran wrap around his hands so he doesn't get that on him um maybe just don't put the coat on him at all but just know that if you get a, a, a used one from ebay or something like that that most figures are going to have that purple stain on the figure already unfortunately so uh do be aware of that um going down the rest of the figure you know his shorts um they say damaged up here which is a very nice detail i didn't notice that in the movie i don't think you actually see it because he's wearing his purple coat um his shorts very nicely detailed um, and then he's wearing these kind of spandex looking thing down here with uh, the Batman symbol and then his boots here Nice another smile right there. The boots are nicely detailed Look at that detail Very nicely detailed. I do like the spandex of the bat symbol on there. That's so cool But yeah, this this figure is just one of my all-time favorite figures aside from that, you know, that purple coat thing so Anyway, so what we're gonna do here we go. What we're gonna do next now is go over this figure's articulation Alrighty folks, so going over this figure's articulation. Obviously his um, Articulation is going to be hindered when he has the purple coat um, I do believe you can actually move it, you know a certain amount before it starts hindering it So that's why I'm gonna decide to do the articulation um, Without the purple coat because that's you know, that's how you're gonna get the figure um, You know some of you might pose him with or without and you just you know, in order to get a hundred percent uh, you know to know what his um, you know movement is his articulation it's better to do it without the coat because the coat does come off so all that being said his head does do a 360 turn I do believe there's a, a peg there so you can look up and down and side to side as you can see there his neck is actually uh, molded onto his body so there's no movement at the base of the neck whatsoever he does not have a butterfly joint but his arms do move 360 all the way around they go up to about there and there's no okay i was just looking at that there's no uh, turn at the bicep um his arms does not have the double joint at the other uh, so there's no double joint at the elbow it's just a 90 as you can see there there we go um he does have a 360 turn because you guys know the peg at his wrist so he can actually go up uh, you know i should take it off here hold on there we go. He does have that 360 turn and he can go up and down as you can see there like that. Sorry about that. There's no other movement up here whatsoever in the torso. At the waist, no movement at the waist whatsoever either. Well, I didn't know that. Also, so moving on, I'm going to put his shorts up a little bit just like this so we can get his movement up here. So his legs goes up to about there once you crunch up his, his shorts and they go back to about there and i believe because his his buttocks or his little butt is actually plastic and it's stopping right there he does have movement at the at the thigh right here look you can see it right there and i'm not going to do that because of the thigh so but just know i'm pretty sure you can do a 360 turn it does feel like he does have a double bend at the knee so he does have a double bend there and then the last thing is he does have a 360 turn at his boot and he, he I, do, I do believe there's a peg down here but because of that there's really his boots really hinder him from doing any other type of movement as you can see here barely a little bit of movement this way or up and down there's no movement whatsoever at the toes there so that's it this figure does not have he's not really that articulated um which I, I don't know why they picked this body for him they could have made him a lot more articulated as far as you know moving out the biceps but you know they know the reason why they, put, they they chose to have this figure with this type of body so what we're gonna do next now is move on to comparisons Alrighty, folks so as you can see here i have put the um purple coat on him and i, I just man he looks so amazing with this purple coat on um i do believe there's wire down here but there isn't I'm sorry, so I do believe, I always think there's wire down here, but there isn't. Um, but yeah, there he is with the purple coat on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to slide him over to this side. Actually, before we do any comparisons, gosh, I need to tattoo instead of, um, you know, something on my forehead. Measure figures on my forehead. How am I going to see that? I need to put like a sign up here. Measure figures. Jesus Christ, man. Um, sorry everybody, that's just, I don't know why I always keep forgetting that. And I have it right here, right in front of me all the time. So he stands 11 and three quarter inches. 
maybe a little bit shorter than no he's about 11 and three quarter inches yeah 11 and three quarter inches so okay now that that's out the way i apologize again what we're gonna do next is we're gonna move him over here and the first one i'm gonna bring out here is the first figure we did of joker which was the arkham asylum joker let's put him a little bit close together so we can do a little bit more better comparisons hopefully it doesn't tip over okay actually let's do it this way so we can kind of there we go so okay here we go guys this is the arkham asylum joker and then this is the purple coat version of joker obviously the tuxedo joker is going to have the same one and i'll bring them out but there's a nice little comparison i do believe they have the same height i i think my it's either my table's a little wonky and or the light box bottom part of the light box is a little wonky so he's kind of standing a little bit weird but i do want to say i don't know if it's because it's barefoot and he's wearing kind of his boots but this one's a little bit taller um his hair is a little bit more realistic looking than this one in my opinion i do like this one's face you know i'm actually pointing it up and you guys can't see it um this one's head sculpt on um, hair sculpt is a lot better looking than this one um i do say this one's a little bit taller than this one i think i think that's because this one's barefoot and this one's wearing his boots um i do like this one's um face expression head sculpt in general um than this one because this one's just kind of bland um and then other than that, you can't really, you know, compare the two saying, you know, because wearing, they're wearing completely different stuff on their, you know, on their body. So um, the next one we're going to bring out, let me set this one aside now. The next one we're going to bring out is a tuxedo version of Joker. Okay, here he is. There you go. Oh, I almost tipped the camera over while I was trying to grab it. Oh, God, there we go. As you can see here, he has the same facial expression as the other one did, and I do believe they're the same head sculpt, so I do believe that this one's hair looks a lot better than that one's hair. Um, again, I still like this one's facial expression, though, but that is them, you know, side by side. I do believe, from the looks of it, it looks like this one's a little bit taller. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Which head sculpt do you guys like better? Do you guys like this one, um, or do you like you know like this one with the grill coming out, showing out? You know. Um, let me know what Joker so far you like so far. Do you like the Arkham Asylum Joker, the Tuxedo Version Joker, or do you like the Purple Coat Joker so far? So let me know in the comments down below. Alrighty, folks. So here he is again, the Joker from Hot Toys, um, with you know the purple coat version released in 2017 from the Suicide Squad. Um, if you guys haven't done so already, please like, or I'm sorry, please um, subscribe. If you guys like the video, please uh, like and share it. Um, I've been putting out a lot of videos lately, and um, you know I'm, I'm really starting to see that you guys are liking. The, I'm actually starting to see that the videos that I make of the one six scale figures are getting a lot more views uh, than the, the than the seven inch ones. So maybe I'll, I'll transition to these for a little while and then go back to the other ones, or I'll still try to keep doing you know one you know. So, because I, I post every we Sunday and every Wednesday. So, on Sundays, you know, maybe I'll do a one six scale figure, and on Wednesdays, I'll do a regular figure. But anyway. Um, if you guys have anything positive, anything negative, constructive criticism, questions, please comment them down below. Um, also, if, I do ask that if you guys watch the videos, please watch them all the way through. It really helps with uh, YouTube circulating my videos. You know, with, um, also, if you guys want an inside scoop before YouTube, head over to my Instagram. Um, I post a picture to show you what video I'm going to be doing next over there. So if you guys want to see that, head over there. Please give me a follow. I'll leave a link down in the description below. With all that being said, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.